Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to program your Motorola PM400, PR400, EP450, CM200, CM300, uh, CP200, and CP200 XLS. Any radio that re requires CPS version RO5.16. I'm going to be showing you guys what software, uh, what programming cable you will need. So I'm going to be including the software in the description for you guys to download along with uh, links to get these programming cables. I have the JIYKR that I bought like seven years ago. Uh, this thing has everything on there for Motorola's. Um, so I'll include this one and I'll include another one that looks just like it on the um, in the description. You're gonna want these because they have all the cables. So for starters, any of the handy talkies, so like the EP450, PR400, CP200, CP200 XLS, are going to be using the uh, small headphone connection aux port. So instead of the um, headphones, that's the 3.5 millimeter, you're going to do the uh, head or microphone, which is a 2.5 millimeter, I believe. Uh, don't quote me there, I might be wrong. But you'll have two cables on here that are big and two cables that are small. So you have to figure out which one of the small one it is and pr plug it in and read it. So it's going to go on the bottom port and plug in. So I'll be back here shortly when I got the right one. So I have the cable plugged in. The next thing you're going to want to do while in the software is click edit preferences. Pick the COM port that's going to be on. So for me, 7 and startup view expert. Now that I have the cable plugged in and everything plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and read the radio. So as you can see on the bottom, it's working. And this is gonna be for the CP200, EP450, PR400, etc. So as you can see, EP450, it's coming up as a PR400, but it works just fine. Uh, and yeah, it works great. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the RJ45 for the Motorola uh, PM400. We're going to program the PM400. Uh, there's gonna be two ethernet ports or uh, eight pin connectors. So, um, the first one will probably not work you just switch over to the second one i know which one mine is because the clip broke off but you'll plug it in and you'll read it it's gonna read this one too and we'll just wait it takes a little bit longer and as you can see pm 400. so this cable is perfect it's got the ethernet for the mobile so this will work for the pm 400 cm 200 cm 300 with this cable the other cable I showed you will work good with the uh, EP450, PR400, CP200, CP200 XLS. So uh, cable, programming software, I'll give the link to the software and everything should be good to go. Uh, all the programming itself is self-explanatory. You'll be able to put your channels in, your repeaters, everything like that. Um, and we'll go from there. There's a lot of other videos that'll show you in detail on how to program it. But I just wanna give y'all the software and the cable so you can program your radios. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and include everything in the software um, or for the programming software and for the cables in the description. And I hope you all have a thing real quick, just to mention Motorola is very um, different than everything else. So if you don't have the right pinout, your programming cable is not gonna work. So if you're trying to program these radios and your programming cable is not gonna work, please buy one of these eight in one programming cables that I'm gonna be putting in the description. I'm gonna be putting the JIYKR and I'm also gonna be putting the other one that should be just as fine and will work perfectly. Uh, I bought this about seven years ago, so you can't really find them that much anymore. So you have to get the other brand, but um, this should solve all your guys' problems. I'll have the software for you and everything that you need. So uh, again, thank you guys and I appreciate y'all. Bye-bye now.